Sucking. Today I want to talk about the study done by Warren Rice, uh, Professor Emeritus at Stanford University in 1972. And it had to do with the Tesla turbine and the test that he performed on that, which pretty much doomed the Tesla turbine from that point on. Um, and you can read about that particular study. But I wanted to point out a few things that he did and he didn't do in that particular study. One of those was that he did not use Tesla's nozzle, and you can verify that and collaborate that with uh, any Wikipedia study on this particular uh, study. But in that particular study, uh, uh, Professor Rice had a turbine very similar to this. His turbine was seven uh, inch diameter. It had 11 blades and uh, was built in line with the Tesla uh, patent. However, he did not use Tesla's nozzle. Instead, he used uh, a pipe with a bunch of holes drilled through it that were perpendicular to the plate at a 90 degree angle. And there was a good reason for that. And I want to prove what that was. And what we're going to do here is, uh, this, is this has been run before. But we have a gauge on this. And as soon as I turn on this compressor, the air at this point is going to be cool and fairly dry and will take some, uh, some uh, readings off of the, uh, the temperature gauge. Uh, do we have that right handy? So right now, where are we at? We are Show the at camera. 111 on the inside. Right? Okay. All right. Right here on the edge of the pipe, 103. So we're basically uh, at room temperature. And we're gonna, when we turn this on, we're at zero PSI, this nozzle is going to immediately go up to about 70 PSI or so. Tim, go ahead and start it up. And we'll just show you that this comes up very quickly because there is no tank with this. It's just right out of the compressor. And there we are, we're already over uh, 80 PSI within a few seconds. And yet, you notice that it is not turning. This is not turning. It is, has the ability to free spin both ways, but there, it's not turning. There is absolutely no torque on this, and yet we're giving this 80 PSI. Now there's a good reason for that, and Warren Rice knew the reason for this too. That's why he did not use Tesla's nozzle, because that nozzle was at the very least a converging nozzle and possibly a converging diverging nozzle, neither one of which Warren Rice used. And so if he was using the, the, the nozzle that Tes, uh, Tesla used, it would have been a converging nozzle at the very least, which this is. And you can see that even though we're giving this 70, 80 PSI worth of, uh, of pressure, we have no torque. We have no rotation, we have no torque at all. And that will happen until we actually get some temperature. Now, as the temperature rises, uh, we'll get more torque. Right now, we're at about 88. Another reading there, 115. So we have no real temperature. Now, I'm going to put the video on pause. And we're going to let this run up to about 200. And then we'll kick it back on. And you'll see that at that point in time, we will have two things that they did not have that this turbine needs to run. One is moisture, which we're developing, and two is, uh, is pressure. But we require heat as well, and that is something you're not going to get with cool, dry, compressed air, which is what Warren Rice used in his Tesla turbine study. So if he had used Tesla's nozzle, he would have got zero rotation, just like we are right now. And this turbine, when this hits about 200 degrees, is going to begin to spin and she'll pick up speed. And when we're at about 400 degrees, this turbine will be running about 1600 RPM. And at that point in time, it has torque. And that was what Warren Rice was trying to prove though, that the Tesla turbine had no torque. And of course, if you give it no humidity and you give it no heat, I don't care how much pressure you give it. As you can see, we're giving it plenty of pressure. You get nothing. And uh, we're just gonna put this on pause and then we will come back in about uh, five minutes and we should have the temperature we need to prove what I'm talking about. Okay, it's been a, another couple of minutes. We're now at about 100 PSI. And uh, once again, the turbine is not rotating. She's just barely creeping there. There's a slight amount 
of torque. She's just starting, she wants to run, but it's still not enough torque to even turn this motor over. 100 PSI, once again, converging nozzle. Temperature, 92. Oh, that's wrong, sorry, 173. So we're just about coming up the steam here, but not quite. And we're just barely rotating. Still doesn't want to rotate. 100 PSI, just barely starting to creep. 100 PSI, there you go. She just barely try, trying to rotate. And yet we're hundred and eighty now once again I'll put it on pause hundred PSI give it another minute or two and we'll come back okay we're back it's been another couple of minutes and we are now just starting to creep around we got enough torque in the Tesla to begin to turn the uh, three-phase motor which is a uh, self-exciting generator with capacitors in uh, uh, Y star pattern so we're starting to develop a voltage and we're just now starting to rotate. We're still at about 100, 105. And the one thing that's different now is the temperature. And at this point, we've got 195 degrees, okay? So 195. Just coming out here, we might be a little higher than that, but eh, that's 190, 185, so 201. And we're now beginning to pick up speed. And we're still at the same exact pressure we was. So we, we had absolutely no torque before at 75 to 100 PSI, and now we've got very limited. Now this is only rotating, what's the rotation there, Robert? 121 RPM, basically. Now three, 300, 140. So somewhere in between 100 and 150. Yeah mouse around a little bit, angles probably off, but we're about 150 RPM, 100 PSI, but the temperature is the big differential. The temperature, 198. We're going to give this a little bit longer here now, and we'll come back when we're over that, but we're right at steam temperature, and that's why we're starting to pick up speed. Now 360 RPM. 105 PSI, the pressure's coming up a little bit as well, because the temperature is rising. So nothing is uh, changed here except for the temperature, which is gonna continue going up, and that's because we're using a converging nozzle which turns temperature and pressure into kinetic energy. And that is not the nozzle that Warren Rice used, and he didn't use that nozzle for a good reason. He didn't use that nozzle because if he didn't have any temperature to go along with it, he wouldn't get any rotation, just like we're not getting any rotation. And we'll come back in just a bit. Another minute or two has gone by. We're still holding about the same uh, pressure, about 100, 105. Now about uh, 715 RPM and still under a load. So we're driving the generator, so we're under a load, and it is actually producing a voltage charging the battery bank. And once it's up, what do you think, 700, 710, 100 PSI. Temperature, however, has increased. Now the temperature is 252, 252. We'll give it another minute or two. Back for more, we're going to check the RPM. We're at 982 now, so and climbing and climbing. Temperature, uh, let's see, the pressure is about 100 and 510, came up a little bit. And the temperature, now 280, 280 thousand over RPM. a thousand RPM, and the same basic pressure as we had where we had zero rotation and no torque. And it's uh, increasing very quickly, 1,015, uh, 1,017, same pressure. What's the difference? The difference is the temperature, 280. That is the difference. And that is why it's important to understand how these work. Uh, we'll give it another minute, and uh, we'll come back. Back again, pressure, one. 10 basically came up five pounds 
RPM 1373. And the reason is because the temperature is 299. See if we can get 300. Yep, actually 327. 1400 RPM. And the same pressure as we had zero RPM at the beginning with cold, relatively dry air. So, what I'm trying to prove here is that when Warren Rice did his study, he knew what he was doing, and he deliberately made sure that the Tesla turbine had a very low efficiency by using something that it was never meant to run on, which is cool, dry, compressed air. This is saturated, hot, uh, uh, water vapor, steam, and compressed air. And at 300 degrees, we've got above steam temperature. Pressure, however, if that was 300 steam, it would be maybe 275 degrees, something like that. So our pressure wouldn't match our pressure with the compressed air and steam mixture. However, the RPM speaks for itself. And this is under a load. We're currently uh, charging that battery system there, hooked in series at about 95 uh, volts DC with the capacitor. And that motor is under a load. So it's not just freewheeling like Rice did. Uh, it does have uh, required torque in order to do that. And uh, at 1400 RPM or so, the only reason we can develop the torque is because we're using a converging nozzle uh, to turn the heat and the pressure into kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is absorbed by the turbine and turned into mechanical energy. The mechanical energy turns the generator, which turns it into electrical energy. And so we come into the turbine. That's not right. At 3, 330. We leave the turbine at 150, 151. And where pressure has never changed, except that relatively low temperature and low humidity, we have no torque in the Tesla turbine. But with relatively high temperature and high humidity, we have high torque. What's the difference? Steam. And if you're not going to run a Tesla turbine with steam, it's not going to work. Tesla turbine is basically a version of a hurricane in a box. And I've never seen a hurricane work in the middle of a desert with... Uh, no humidity and, uh, and no water vapor. You don't give it water vapor, you don't give it steam, it's not going to go anywhere. You can't expand, you're not going to get anything because Tesla's nozzle was a converging nozzle. And you got to have one. You can't run it without a converging nozzle. And the reason he didn't is because if he had, he would have gotten zero rotation and uh, he knew it. And that's why. 1500 RPM. Now 1500. And gaining. And gaining, and we've got 110 PSI. Only main difference is, in fact, the temperature. And at 357, that's the difference. We're well above steam temperature, and that's why we continue to gain in speed. Oh, the battery. There you go. 1550 now, 1555 RPM and gaining. Same pressure, only difference is the temperature. All right, thank you. You guys got questions, comments, concerns? Drop me a line, I appreciate it.